Uh, no, I try to go to the park and, you know, I'll pick up a guy's board and give it to him if he, like, falls and it goes away from him. I try to be as nice as I can to them because I usually get the best. They're usually nicer to me if I don't get in their way and if I'm nice to them. And it's just a lose-lose if I go to the park with a bad attitude and I'm thinking, like, oh, these skaters suck. Like, they just, like, hate scooters. If I just assume that, it usually doesn't go well. So I try to be as nice as I can just to improve my chances of you know, having a good time at the park. Secret to 540s on flat. I'm probably not the person to be asking about that because I'm really not that good at them. Chema is pretty good at them. Dylan's pretty good at them. The one thing I've noticed that helps a lot is just focusing on jumping as high as you can. And if I try to carve a lot and really huck the spin, I usually kind of forget to jump and then I don't make the 540. The ones I've landed are the ones where I really focus on jumping. I think that's the only secret for me. My worst injury is probably back in like 2004 or five, I broke my jaw and it wasn't really, I didn't dislocate my jaw or anything so I didn't have to get it wired shut but I hear that's a real pain. But I did have to eat like milkshakes for a month. Let me tell you, you miss hamburgers a lot after like a week of drinking milkshakes every meal. All I wanted was a chicken sandwich the whole time. That was probably my worst injury. Yeah, that was on my scooter. Actually, my shoulder too at California, in a San Clemente skate park. A lot of people probably heard about this when I landed on my shoulder, Tanner Markley was playing me in a game of scoot and I backflipped right onto my neck and separated my shoulders. A third degree separation which means means like all the ligaments that hold your shoulder blade to your collarbone completely separated, completely ripped. So my shoulder was like down a couple inches. That was like the worst pain I've ever felt. That was probably worse than my jaw. And that I couldn't ride for probably a month and a half after that. And even when I could again, it wasn't like my jaw where I can ride even, I don't need my jaw to ride obviously, but my shoulder was really weak after that so it took me a little while to you know, get back into the groove and gain all my strength back. You know, I try to, I try to answer that myself a lot of the time and I can't really come up with an answer. I think it's mainly been influenced by the skate parks I live around. Back when I used to be, in, back in high school, when I made all my mini videos and the BLT videos, I mainly rode Talent Skate Park and Rye Airfield and those are like, well not big but it's, it is skate park and I never rode a whole lot of street. When I did I was never really taking it that seriously. And when I wanted to learn like new tricks, I would go to the skate park to learn my tricks and film them there. And then, you know, once I got on Proto and started filming for the, the video, everybody was pushing for street. And also once I started going to college, I never really had much time to go to the skate park. So when I did get a minute, I would just go like ride street on campus and, you know, film what little footage I could while I was there. So that really kind of pushed me to ride a lot more street. Now I have more fun doing it. I wouldn't consider myself mainly a park or a street rider. I try to be as well-rounded as I can. And you know, just because now I film mostly street for proto and boxes doesn't mean I can't go to the park and do like some front flip combos or something like that. And I still have tons of fun doing that when I do get a chance. Scariest street spot. Would hill bombs count? Probably hill bombs. I don't really do ever like any crazy, like insane death defying gaps, but I'm usually scared every second I'm bombing a hill. I, that would have to be it. Cause any, you like put your feet down and that's usually not enough to stop you if it's a big enough hill. So you kind of just have to go for it and you're either gonna make it to the bottom all right or you're gonna fall and just about die. That's probably the scariest street spot for me. I miss the driveway videos. All those were filmed at my house in Vermont. 
and I haven't lived there for the past, you know, four years now. I do miss making them. It's, I think I kind of took for granted the fact that I could just walk out my front door and just ride right there and keep all my ramps and whatever I wanted right there to do, to mess around with. Now I need to like, I live in an apartment right now so I can't just make a manual pad and leave it by my front door because there's no room for it. I need to actually, you know, drive to a spot or drive to the skate park. And it just, I don't know. It makes it a lot more difficult. And this, the uh, driveway videos were all like just me filming on my own. There wasn't usually anyone else there, so there was no pressure and it was just me, you know. I would have a trick in mind that I wanted to land and I would just kind of mess around in my driveway until I got it. I actually plan on trying to go back this summer and living in Vermont. So hopefully I'll be able to make some driveway videos. I think that would be pretty cool to kind of, you know, revisit my past. Well, I definitely think the fact that it's growing is a good thing. You know, back in the day, you had to modify your scooter so heavily just to make it rideable, so it wouldn't just snap the second you try to do a tail whip on it. So in that light, the fact that you can go on the internet and find, you know, a million different quality parts is really great. I love that. And I love how far Proto has come to. But I don't like sometimes the fact that you know, every little kid seems to be doing the exact same tricks and I see, you know, I've had kids that come up to me at the skate park and just, I try to introduce myself to people and they'll just disregard it. They'll just ask me if I can do a bri flip and those kind of things just drive me insane. Like, you scooter for fun and I scooter to make friends and things like that. You know, it's not just about who can do the most bri flip to tail whip to buttercup type deals. That kind of stuff just... That's the part of scooting I don't like, but that's just my opinion. And I know there's plenty of other people that are constantly trying to push that side of the sport. You know, I can understand trying to land a new trick. If you, if I just forget about the whole bri flip, I'm really biased against bri flips. Anyone that knows me knows I hate them. So I guess uh, anyone else you ask might have a different opinion, but I think it's good. The growth is good. I would like to see more originality though is my only gripe.